Hi friends, I am Imran Ali. Today my topic of discussion is negligence and contributory negligence. But before moving towards the topic, let me remind you, please don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Introduction of negligence. Negligence is a tort in the eyes of law, which occurs when someone fails to pay his required attention for doing something. In general, negligence is the omission to perform a duty which results in the plaintiff's injury. Negligence is committed in respect of both person and property. Illustration Suppose there is a surgeon, while performing a surgery, accidentally leaves one of his tools inside the body of the patient. Now, this will give rise to actionable negligence, as the surgeon was negligent on his part and resultantly he completely ignored his duty to take care. Similarly, if there is a person who was driving at the wrong side met with a collision from another car will be held negligent on his part and is liable to pay compensation. Definition of Negligence According to Winfield and Jolovitz, negligence is the breach of a legal duty to take care which results in damage and desired by the defendant to the plaintiff. Lord Wright states that negligence means more than headless or careless conduct whether in commission or omission, it properly connotes the complex concept of duty, breach and damage, thereby suffered by the person to whom the duty was owed. According to Austin, in case of negligence, a party performs not an act to which he is obliged, but he breaks a positive duty. The term duty of care in itself says duty or obligation to be more careful, reasonable and rational so that it may not give rise to any kind of injury or damage. Generally, if there is any kind of breach in the performance of such duty, it gives rise to the liability of negligence for which compensation is to be paid. Essentials of Negligence Number 1. Duty The defendant owed a duty towards the plaintiff, i.e. reasonable care for other safety. Number 2. Breach of Duty the defendant failed to act in a reasonable way or breached its duty, for example, a driver was reckless or intoxicated. Number 3. Cause in fact. The defendant's breach was the actual cause of another's injuries. Number 4. Harm. The defendant's breach was the proximate cause of the injuries. The defendant should have known that the breach would cause injury. Burden of proof. Plaintiff has the burden of proof. He proved that the, he has sustained injuries from the negligence of the defendant and there stands a proximate relation between them. Res ipsa liquator The things speak for itself is another condition in which the plaintiff is not required to prove anything as the accident itself afford the prima facie evidence. Contributory negligence if a person gets injured due to his own contributed negligence, in this case, injured person is not entitled to recover damages from other party who supposedly caused the accident. Contributory negligence basically means ignorance from both the parties involved. If a person is driving a car without any brakes met with an accident with another person who was driving on the wrong side of the road, this results in contributory negligence. It's a defense available to the defendant in case of contributory negligence which prevents the plaintiff to get compensation. Burden of proof The burden of proof lies over the defendant. In order to get the defense of contributory negligence, the defendant must prove that the plaintiff is responsible as he is and ignore due diligence which could have avoided such consequences arising from the negligence of the defendant. Difference between negligence and contributory negligence Following are the differences between negligence and contributory negligence. Number 1. As to nature Negligence is a tort in its nature. Contributory negligence is not a tort in nature but it is a defense. Number 2. As to burden of proof In negligence the burden of proof is always on the injured person. In contributory negligence, the burden of proof is always on the defendant, wrongdoer. Number three, as to scope. Negligence has wider scope, while contributory negligence has less in scope because it has been derived from the negligence. 
Number four is to duty of care. In negligence, the duty of care is imposed on the wrongdoer. In contributory negligence, the duty of care is imposed on the both the parties. Conclusion. It can be concluded that negligence is a tort in the eyes of law which occurs when someone fails to pay his required attention for doing something. In order to prove that an act was negligent, it is necessary to prove all the essentials, namely duty, breach of duty, damage and actual and proximate cause. Contributory negligence is not a tort. Contributory negligence is a special defense available to defendant under the law of the tort. It is just a defense which is available to defendant because contributory negligence expressed that the person who suffered damages was also responsible for their damages as much as defendant. So that's all for today. I hope you will like this video and will also subscribe my YouTube channel for more informative videos. Till next video, take care. Allah Hafiz.